Do you want to know how I became an American citizen? My mom got pregnant, and then she went to the hospital in New York City and gave birth, and bang, there I was, an American citizen. But let's go back even further, because the video is in 10 minutes. First, we got to go back to the grandparents, who met in America a long time ago. They had kids, and a lot of them, because of those Scottish and Irish genes. Others were Dutch and German. So I guess, I guess I'm a mis mixed whitey. To be honest, I have no clue when all my ancestors came to America. Both of my parents went to college together. Met up in the Big Apple after college and started dating. Then my dad was transferred overseas for the Navy. My mom did international business, so I don't know how that affected the relationship. My guess is it didn't really, considering they moved it along and got engaged. Like, OMG, Becky, a look at her ring. They started the wedding planning, and then, on a rainy day, the wedding happened in a church. The reception was held at a yacht club on the water, and it was pretty cool. After all that, the young couple went on a honeymoon to Hawaii for 10 days or so, or more. I don't really know. I think it was less than a month, though. I think my mom started to show signs of being pregnant around a month or two after the honeymoon. Then, the couple moved to New York City to start the life of a family. While my dad was at business conference, the really big pregnant girl named my mom felt her water break in New York City apartment. And thankfully, the hospital was only a block away, with my mom being a strong and powerful woman. She got up and took the elevator to the lobby and walked to the hospital while holding in the baby, trying not to give birth on the streets of New York City. Plus, with the pain of me kicking the crap out of her because it was too cramped in here. Just kidding, that didn't happen. Instead, my mom called an ambulance and my dad and waited to be taken to the hospital. Once at the hospital, she was freaking out wondering if my dad was going to make it back from the conference to be here in time for her to hold hands and give birth to a firstborn son. But there I was, kicking and punching the absolute crap out of this tiny compartment that has been confining me for so long. Nine months, man. Let me out of here. Then the nurses started to tell my mom that she couldn't wait any longer but trying to hold out for the big daddy o to get down to new york city just 10 hours she thought just 10 hours my dad caught the next flight out and while he was boarding the flight bang i headed by I headbutted my mom so hard, she went into labor. Even my mom was powerless against me. I was coming into this world as soon as possible, and no one could stop it. However, she truly was a strong opponent. To think she would last hours to hold on to the hand of the man she loved. It was an admiral determination. But I threw my first tantrum. Meanwhile, my dad was just lifting off and flying back in the air to make it on time. However, I threw a one-two combo of a punch 
and a kick. And then that turned into 20. And then 30. And then when I finally had enough, I ended it with a one-two headbutt. And just like that, my mom gave in and gave birth to me five hours before my dad could give her a big hug. So, in the end, today is my birthday instead of tomorrow.